What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about my DNA, my ancestry. Um, I got the idea to do this video from my friend Air from Up In The Air TV. And yeah, I saw that she also did a DNA test um, and recorded it and it was pretty cool. So here's my kit. So, um, it's pretty much a year exactly since I ordered my kit. Um, actually, this may be around the time where I actually received it in the mail and then sent it back off. But last year I was in Portugal, Lisbon to be specific, over Thanksgiving break. And um, I had just met someone who was talking to me about this DNA kit. And oddly enough, I feel like an ad popped up on my Facebook or something, or maybe I saw someone mention it, and it was on sale for Thanksgiving. So I tried to buy it, but because I was in Europe, I, for some reason, couldn't get the discount. So I literally called my mom from Lisbon, and I'm like, I need to walk you through the steps to be able to get this for me, because I really, I've always wanted to know, you know, a little bit more about my history. So slavery alone affected records being kept uh families being split up so you know grandma couldn't tell you where you're from what country what tribe east west africa south africa so that played a big part in a lot of african americans not really knowing exactly where they're from aside from africa which is a continent plenty of countries there i mean no clue which one you may be from so yeah i've always wanted something like this to be able to tell me exactly where i'm from um maybe one day i'll do a test and it tells me what tribe and everything but so far i'm impressed so let me read you my results so when they do um finish your test they send you an email and i've just always kept the email like every now and then i go back to the email just click the link the subtitle or the uh the subject is your ancestry dna results are in i was so excited when i got this so and then you just click the link so i will never forget when i first got these results um i can't remember exactly what everything is and i it clearly changes over time i think as they get more dna and as time goes on like they narrow it down a little bit more because my Nigeria, <laughs> that's the that's the main percentage. Um, my Nigeria is like slowly moving up the ladder. It's always been more Nigerian than anywhere else, even though it's just been by like 2%. But it keeps creeping up. So let's see. I am pretty damn African, guys. I don't know if you could guess. So... I am 29% Nigerian and I want to say when I first got these results this was more like 20 26% I'm positive it was um for the Benin Togo region 25% Cameroon Congo which for some reason I just wish I was more Congolese uh, it's 14% Senegal Someone invited me to go to Senegal next year, and I'm trying to make that happen. So Senegal is 8%. Ivory Coast and Ghana, 6%. And low confidence regions. Okay, so that was all of Africa. Um, that's pretty cool. I really, and then it, there's a map that shows you the different regions. I just think that's so cool. So for the low confidence regions, I feel like these have increased a little bit too. Wow, okay. So Great Britain, 6%. I'm shocked at that. If I had to guess where it came from, I'm gonna assume it's my mom's side of the family because she's lighter, both of her parents are lighter. So I'm, I'm sure, you know, there were some interracial couples more so on that side than my dad's. Ireland, Scotland, Wales, 3%. Mali, 3%. Okay, more Africa. Africa South, Central Hunter Gatherers, 2%. Now, I don't remember that being there before. Scandinavia, 1%. Beyond random. Middle East, less than 
Iberian Peninsula, less than 1%, and randomly, Polynesia, less than 1%. And I'm just going to talk about this um, because even my niece is like this. For some reason, a lot of African Americans, especially when they have a certain texture of hair, they just assume that they're, they don't assume, they're told for some reason that they're mixed with Native American. Um, and I remember hearing that like less than 1% of those people who actually think they're mixed with Native American are Native American. And I only say that because my niece says that all the time. Like she just, she is convinced um, because that's what she was told by her other side of the family. And I think we were talking about that one day. My mom was like, well, you know, my mom said that she was mixed with Native. Girl, get out of here. And I would think this is proof. If my grandmother, if my maternal grandmother had any inkling of Native American in her, the proof would be in the pudding. So yeah, this is really quick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You learned a little bit more about where I'm from. At the same time, I get to learn about where I'm from. So that's kind of cool. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe. I also am curious to know who else is taking this test and where's the majority percentage of your ancestry from?